The overall goal of this procedure is to evaluate morphologic changes of cranial nerves in vivo using MRI, something that can be found, for example, in inflammatory changes. This method can help answer key questions in the medical field, such as do we see changes of neural structures in other conditions in vivo? The main advantage of this technique is that it can be used in vivo with possible implications for diagnosis and therapy of diseases. In our study, we have looked at the vestibular cochlear nerves in patients with Meniere's disease. We have looked at the diameter of the nerve to see how thick it is and whether there's any thinning of the nerve. We, you can easily use this technique also for other cranial nerves to look into other disease processes. So it can be easily translated to other disease areas. Begin by escorting the patient into the MRI room and having them lie on the scanner table. Be sure to position their head straight at the isocenter of the scanner, and then secure the head coil. Next perform the MRI scan according to the study protocol, including 3D flare and 3D real IR sequences for detection of endolymphatic hydrops in the patient group as well as strongly T2-weighted 3D cysts for morphologic analysis of cranial nerves in the patient group and healthy controls. After the scan is complete, check the MRI image quality with regard to artifacts like fold-over artifacts, pulsation artifacts, metal artifacts,